On this episode of Broken Gear, we acquire a twin to our 79 Honda Prelude. And we're gonna get them both going at the same time. Well, we've been up for, what, 10 minutes so far? Yeah, not very much. Not very. And uh, we've already got trailer hooked up, truck ready to go, Holly's in there. And we're going to go pick up a surprise. Ooh. Something we don't need. Yeah, more things that we, you know, we need. <laughs> On our way, and we got Holly. Holly, Holly. How are you doing? Hey, baby. Hi, oh. She's our mascot. Beautiful. Alright, well, um, we are just about there. And I'm excited. Uh, we are turning onto Jones Road. I don't know if that's at this T? Uh, T? Should be up here right by the T, roughly. looking in all these people's garages. I'm looking in all these people's garages, man. I want to... believe that's the house. Okay. I yeah. probably stopped at the stop sign. Oh. He says it's in the front yard. He said he moved it to the front. I see it. Oh. <laughs> She's a beauty. What do you have to say for yourself? I think we did good. Yeah. We just bought another 79 Honda Prelude. Because one shitty 79 Honda Prelude wasn't enough. It never is. And this one's better. Because it's a manual and not an automatic. And I'm so happy about that. Also, I love that the uh, RPM is a very nice lime green. I don't know if our other one's like that or not. I don't, I don't, think, I don't, I don't think, think ours so. has Oh man, I'm the, focusing uh, on the steering wheel. I don't think ours has an RPM gauge. I think it does. I don't think so. But... There you nice. go. Another one. So now we get to drag it back home. Yeah, I'm the first one to drive this thing. We're basically winching it onto the trailer. Yeah! Yeah. This is great. I should probably steer. This car is identical to our other Prelude. Silver with the orange interior. The only difference is this one's a manual. We've made it home, go well, back to Carson's place anyway, for this pooch, and that thing is glorious. But we're gonna pull it off the trailer, get it stuffed up there, and then we're gonna drag the other Honda out and uh, get a nice side-by-side -side shot, because I think that'll be cool. Well, we just got this home and um, we're antsy. We were told this thing ran about, I don't know how many years ago. Two. Two. Two to three, somewhere in Two that to area. three years ago. And he said uh, he could get it to go about 30-ish because uh, carburetor needs some work, which I'm sure it needs more work now. Um, but yeah, he said he could get it through all the gears, got it up to like 30. And the brakes worked at that point. They don't work now. But we're going to throw a battery in it, throw some th fresh gas in it, and do all the appropriate stuff to uh, make sure everything's okay before getting in it and driving it. Yeah. 
we just push this back under here because well, we're not going to do anything with it right now except for take those photos we just took and uh, conveniently way too close to this so getting in here is going to be a lot of fun oh, okay wow yeah we're gonna steal the battery out of this and put it in our new car because the distributor still needs replaced in this one. We have a distributor for it. Not that that's the only part we need, but I already bought a new battery for this one. So I'm gonna steal that. Now in our other car, all of these doohickeys in here light up. You have like safety buttons and what the? That's scientific. It's basically a hammer. Right, Jesus. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna see how much of this stuff does what it's supposed to. And hopefully we're gonna get a bunch of these lights and stuff to turn on all of these ones. Because uh, luckily they did that in our other car. I'm interested if the radio works. I don't know. It's quite the radio they have in here. Interior is actually pretty nice. Can't argue about that. Get your sweet honey. Put your arm around her. Or Carson. In here. Good speed. Go fast lever. Alright. We hooked up. Moment of truth, got our original Honda key. You're not even here, are you? I am, but that... Just in case. Okay, so we did not get anything. Didn't get anything. Nothing. Hooked the battery up backwards. What about now? It's kind of my fault. I set it in there. What about now? Nothing. Wonder if uh could the battery be dead? Shouldn't be. I think I figured it out. Um you sat the battery in backwards. I didn't think about it. So I forced them on and uh we uh we blew the little little fuse wire there. It looks like it's been blown for a little while though. You know you know what? I think I know where we have another one though. Are we already making the other Honda a parts car? If we're trying to make this one start right now, yes. <laughs> now, so long as I don't drop the screws. It's all right, we have a parts Honda. That's true. <laughs> no, we need both of them to work. That That is the end goal. But the thing is, in order to make one work now, one has to give up a little bit. Dropped it, but I didn't lose it. Okay, and there's our new one out of our other car. It's brand new. It's mint. So it does look really nice. Look like you're deep in thought there, Carson. Just trying to think on how this needs to go on here. Them tiny man hands in there. Tiny man hands. <laughs> All right, so we just put that new fuse in there. We stole that off of our other Honda because now it's a parts car. Until for a couple days or weeks. Yeah, until we decide to get that one going too. Okay. Oh, I have a door buzzer. Hear that? Yeah. Let's see if uh, that's our fuel pump. 
Wait, 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 is there gas in it? I don't know. The fuel thing says empty. Because if there's not, we don't want to burn up the fuel pump because I imagine that's expensive. Probably. And hard to find. Probably. All right, well, let's put gas in it. Ugh. Dang. Smells like gas. Not like varnish. I think the heat might have worked. I think if we add a little bit of new gas, it's going to be okay. There's still very little in there, though. All right. We're fuel. Attempt number two. Ugh. Hey, why don't we pour just a little bit of gas down that carb, can we? Probably can. Confident about that? Confident enough. Okay. Turn it off. I don't know if there's oil in it. Oh, there's oil in it. I oh, checked okay. it. Good. Dude, that idles. Oh. All right. What the hell? <laughs> yes. Just got done adding some dot three. So our little reservoir down here is filled up now. I don't see any leaks immediately on the ground, not under the car. So when I step on the brakes, if there is fluid, we're pretty much guaranteed that that's what it is. I'll see if I can get some. Oh my goodness. I can feel a little but i have a feeling it's all evacuating somewhere because it did not hold no system might just need blood it just might need blood all right so uh first thing you do when you get a car and it has power and it fired up once not twice just once so far is uh <clears throat> put the key back in to auxiliary and uh, you see if the moonroof opens. Are you messing with? Oh, there you go. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> I love this thing! I love it already! It's not a Mopar, but I love it! That's a man truly in love right there. I hope it shuts. <laughs> Hey! It worked! That's that's it. This is this is my car. <laughs> this, this is it. What where has this been our entire life? South Bend, Fort Wayne, Kendallville. Oh yeah. By the way, this car was originally sold at Don Ayers Honda, which is like ten minutes away from my house in Fort Wayne. <laughs> that's amazing. I really Funny how stuff goes around. I love it. Alright, what's the plan? All right, well, we're gonna see if it'll fire up on its own without gas down the carb. And uh, then we're just gonna kind of yard drive it if if we can. Um, brakes, we don't have much pedal there. It's a little squishy, uh, either air in the line. I have a suspicion that the seal on the top of the cap uh, itself is probably not sealed very well, so we might be losing pressure there. Uh, but I'd yeah. like to see if we can at least get this going. Fair. Deal? Yeah, sounds good to me. See if she'll fire up again. Bingo, bingo. All right. All right. I am shorter than whoever drove this last, so I had to readjust my seat. But we have first gear. We do have first gear. It's promising.
This is fabulous. I I am not comfortable going into a fourth in this. I year. I would have to agree. I don't think fourth gear in a yard is necessarily a good idea. And on the road without brakes is probably not ideal either. Uh, probably worse. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, dude, the clock works. Still no brakes. He's <laughs> he's like crap. <laughs> but don't lose it in the pond. What happens when you forget you don't have brakes? <laughs> No brakes, no problem. Well, it is morning of the next day. And we got the car that we acquired yesterday, the Lude 2, running and driving. Still doesn't stop, but that's okay. We'll get to that eventually. Um, I do have the one part that I think we needed for the first Lude, and that's this. It is our distributor. So hopefully we're going to stick that in it. And, um, well, I'm going to stick it in it because Carson's still in there sleeping. And maybe we'll get this one to do something today too. That would uh, that would be amazing. I could make a little big difference. difference. If there, you can huh? press that, I can push on this lip. Look at that. All right. How about that? Because you were just trying to make it harder. I was, because that thing was junk compared to this nice shiny one. I know. I'm very surprised. Like, I'm just glad someone had one. So since we're doing a direct swap, <clears throat> I've marked on here where this distributor is and where it sits in there. That way I can just go ahead and do that without having to mess with the timing. And we're going to see how that works. Because that just slid right out. And there is your difference between that one. Oh, I thought you needed a tinier wrench. I do. I need to get this plate off. Oh, okay. Well, I have seven, eight, nine. Perfect. There's your difference. And that part right there on this one is right there, and that came out of that one because that one's broken. Hmm. Ideal, right? So what you doing? I am putting this adapter plate on it, or a mounting plate on it, and <clears throat> luckily this old one's so grimy that I can see exactly oh, yeah. where it's supposed to line up. Perfect. That's going to help me out a lot. Thanks, Honda. Or whoever didn't maintain this car. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna shove her back down in there. And then it's just gonna fire right up, right? Right. Because we had everything except for spark last time. So, and that distributor is junk. In fact, there's broken pieces sitting around here. So, Beautiful. hopefully this is it. I hope. Me too. Could you imagine if we had two of these running? Loot one and loot two? Loot one and loot two. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Low to the window, to the wall, to the wall, to the sweat drips down my balls. Ow, these bitches crawl. Ow, ski ski motherfucker. Ow, ski ski goddamn. Oh, yeah. Lube the shaft, baby. Lube it. This is the lubrication station. You need something lubricated? Come over to Mr. Kevin. I'll lubricate it for you. That got really weird really quick. That's all a matter of opinion. Alrighty, well then. 
we've got the new distributor in with the new cap, new rotor and all that kind of stuff. It's lined up, um, should be the same exact timing, which will be ideal. Um, we only have one battery, so we're gonna steal the battery out of the <laughs> other car, make the other car a parts car instead of this car a parts car. And uh, we still need the fuse that we stole out of this one last night. Crap. Uh, unless we just jump a wire, which we might do that just for simplicity and because Chances are we're not gonna hook the battery up backwards a second time. Um, so we're gonna put the, well, we're gonna put gas in this one too, because instead of cleaning the tank and making sure everything's appropriate, uh, we're gonna do the- um, Smell check. Smell check. And make sure that it smells just like varnish before putting new gas in. Yeah. Uh, then it'll dilute and it'll be fine. It'll, dil <laughs> it'll dilute, it'll be just fine. Yeah. Uh, I had taken some of the vacuum lines and fuel line off here last time we worked on this because it looks all hard and everything, uh, but it hasn't collapsed on itself yet. yet, and I could get a little bit of pressure in it, so we're going to just put them back on because that's the right thing to do. I agree. Perfect. Oh, yeah. All right. That one works. We're just gonna add gas. Well, it's got at least a couple of gallons of gas in it. Are we taking bets on how much of that's gonna end up on the ground? I haven't heard it trickle yet, so I'm gonna say we're gonna be okay. All right, well, uh, yeah, that's a fire hazard. Ah, eh, what are you talking about? Probably could have done a better job on that one, but. Let me take a little look here. Yeah, no, don't. <laughs> Seriously, it's going to completely discredit everything that we ever do again. All right, we'll just say that we put the right thing in there. Yeah, I put a factory OEM fuse back in here. We'll go with that. Yeah. All right, so how's it going now, Kevin? Well, it's not my handiest work and uh, probably discredits any kind of mechanical ability that we have. Um, not saying that it's a lot, but there is our new fuse. Hey, it has ring terminal ends. Yeah, it'll uh, be good enough to catch on fire at least once. Yeah, exactly. That'll be fine. All right, so our new distributor is in, battery is in, my janky um, fuse. Fuse. Thing. Yep. It'll be fine. So we put some gasoline in it. I'm going to squeeze in here which I gave myself a lot of room because of this pole. Carson's gonna put a little fuel down the carb just to give us a little bit of a... And watch for fire. And watch for fire. And I put the keys okay. on top of the car. Now I've got them, so. All right, well, fingers crossed. We'll see if this does anything now. All right, All right we've got our door buzzer still. All right, I just heard the fuel pump kick on. Okay. All right, I would have thought we would have had something. Yeah. Shit. That spark. Well, we had spark to the coil with the old distributor on. Yeah, so let's see if we're getting to the spark plugs now. Damn it. So we are back to the playing spark game. We're gonna give this a little shot here, see if we can get a spark from the coil. Uh. Try now. <laughs> Nothing. All right, well, our issues at the coil now. Neat. Yeah, that's ideal because that was working fine last time. All right, so we're gonna try to arc it here now. Hey, I see little sparky boys. Beautiful. All right, so that means that's working. Okay. So now that. Plug it in and see if we have it at the plug now. Now let's see if we have some uh, some spark here. Hey, I see some. See? Yeah, a little bit of orange. All right. Well, well, we've got a little bit of spark to our 
thing now, put a little bit of gas down here. Maybe we'll get lucky and she'll fire up finally. You ready? Yep. It's trying. All right, let's uh, right, let's figure out a little more fuel. Yep. All right, well, we had a little sputter there. Find out. So we're gonna put a little more gasoline down our dragon maker here. Ready? Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if more gas is the answer or not. I know. That sounds horrible. That sounds god <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'm sure it's getting rid of a lot of shit that's been sitting in there for a while. Ready? Yep. Oof. I don't know if that qualifies as the first start in 25 years or not. Well, we think we realized why this one was parked. Got a good guess. It's got a giant rod knock. We'll show you in a second. All right, we'll put a little gasoline back down in here. Just put some in. We'll uh, give her the juice here and uh, I'll keep it going with this water bottle, but it's got a huge rod knock down in the bottom end. Ready? I kind of had a suspicion of that when we got it, and that's probably the reason why it's been parked. All right, well, we added a little more oil to it because it was just a little bit low. Um, notice that some oil was coming out of here, so rearrange that cap a little bit. Maybe it'll decrease the amount coming out there. It wasn't extremely low, um, but the more we cranked on it, the better it did sound. So maybe we'll get lucky. So go ahead and give her some, Carson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. you know what? We do technically now own two running 79 Preludes. We have two running 79 Preludes. How about that? Woo! Oh. Well, we have two running Preludes. We need a decent amount of parts for both now. And parts to our availability still sucks. So, uh, ordering stuff, waiting for it to show up. And you will see a follow-up video on the dual Honda Preludes in a future episode of Broken Gear, so stay tuned. And um, yeah, we might go putz around the other one a little more around the yard. Woohoo! This is order number two of parts for two different Preludes. And uh, this adds up pretty quick. This one's 456 bucks, the other one was about 100. So, Yay! Darn shipping. 